guys, it's your annoyed Maho Shoujo Camry, and I'm here to watch Tower of God, episode 7, and I'm ready to just get into it. Um, we found out a little about of Nox's history, a little bit, and I suspect that we're just gonna probably find out maybe more, and maybe even who these princesses are that are accused or allegedly killed her father. So let's see what happens in episode 7, Lunch in Tag. What are these certain acts? Oh! Yo, that's what Anok's mom did, obviously. Is that why her dad was killed? Ooh, is it worth it? Anok's gotta calm down though. She's gotta like do some real investigative research. Like, what if not all the princesses killed her dad? Wow. Can you imagine being told and people truly believing that you are a crime because you were born? God, that is so sad. But why did she stay to die, though? Or was she killed, too? Like, both of them are killed. So here's my question. Do you have a choice to become a princess? Well, she's... Okay, well, and Dorsey says she worked really hard to become a princess. So I guess you could just get stronger, and then he picks who he picks to become a princess. So... It is a choice, from what I see. Why does Grey remind me of Daria? <laughs> or there's this like cartoon where she looks just like this character. I can't remember where this character is from. Your control is a bit lacking. Yeah, he lacks control. can't be what is wrong with him does he have split personality yo you what is going on that dude he is psychotic <laughs> what is wrong with him he's got he's fake as f That's why she can't be friends with men. Can't resist that. I never noticed. She got a little tiny horn on her forehead. I never noticed that. Oh, tell her what she wants to hear. Why is she eating that rotten apple? She ain't got no points. You know what I think? Those chocolate bars. Is there something different about those chocolate bars that he's giving to specific people? Because he's only giving them to Rack and Rachel. I know Rachel's a princess. Mmm. Is that why she cut off all contact with Bam? Because she's a princess and they can never have any type of relationship with a man. And even if he is hiding something from you guys, it's none of your business. Most tests be wearing him out. God. Oh. Oh, 
he's he's definitely suffering from some past trauma. What? for him. But, I mean, they were just doing, I mean, they had to come up with some plan. Interesting. Okay, so clearly Rachel's a princess, like I've been saying. And the rules are that princesses cannot have intercourse or have children. Anok's mother broke that rule and she suffered the ultimate consequences, it seems. We don't know the details behind her past, but in Dorsey clearly asked her does she regret her decision maybe in Dorsey herself has also thought about is the power worth sacrificing those things not to have any relationship with a man and not to have children and honestly what does that say about Jihad himself it seems like even though he climbed the tower and he created the society whatever this culture is he really a good person like what to set those rules in place that's not really fair or maybe it's to keep it well I don't know when you set rules like that where he's the only one who can pick the princesses does he have some type of criteria he goes based off on like you know is it just like if a if a woman is super powerful in her own way he gives them the weapon he gives them the title what if that princess is very evil you know what I mean? Does he also go based off personality? If say he doesn't go based off personality, if the woman is strictly strong and she um, proves her abilities, then him setting this rule that only he can be the one to grant the power, you cannot have these children, it's very, not only selfish, but just kind of seems narcissistic. In a way, he doesn't want the power to be spread biologically. He wants to be the one to choose. Now, who's to say Jihad is even alive? What if it's some entity now or some ritual or process? Maybe it's not, he's not, we don't even know how long ago the tower was funded on. No, I just now have a lot more questions. So that explains Rachel's behavior, why she cannot get close to Bam or she no longer can have that relationship with Bam because it will lead to them having a romantic relationship because Bam clearly is in love with her right so she cares about Bam and her fear is being abandoned by him but because she is a princess then she can have that relationship with him now my thing is did she choose to be a princess 
I'm going based off how Dorsey put it. She said she worked really hard to become a princess. So do some women have a choice? Do some women not? Because if this is what it is, then Rachel, what if, what if she's trying to get to the top of the tower to give up her title as princess? That's all I got for today. Um, interesting episode. I'm, it, I think the show's getting better. We're finding out more and it's just, now it's just more fascinating. So um, I'm gonna leave that here. I will catch you guys next time. This has been your Annoyed Maha Shoujo Camry and I will see you guys later. Bye.